First day of December. I was gonna say Christmas. That would be wrong. Oh, that's attractive. You look good, Rachel. You look good. And my sister's boyfriend got me one of these like little Christmassy things. So I'm gonna be opening the first day. And I've actually never had one of these before because I'm allergic to all sorts of wonderful things. And so this is like free of any sort of allergy. So peanuts, nuts, eggs, and milk. So that was really nice of him. So let's uh, go ahead and, uh, and open this puppy. So let's attempt to open this. I'm gonna, I don't have nails right now because I painted them. Look how pretty they are though. Maybe I'll do it on the back. Magic, got it. What is it? It is, almost looks like an alien or a lemming. Yeah, I know it's a light bulb, but still, looks like a lemming. Let's eat this. It's hard. Oh, what chocolate is this? I'm gonna go the other half to Chris and see how he likes it. I like your bangs. I like that they started like halfway back your head. Hey. How was the style back then? I like that <clears throat> You have abs of steel on that, eh? Was that oh, a half on that one? Oh, nice. That was, jazz. that was jazz. What are you doing? I was just about to ask you the same thing. I'm vlogging. Oh, hi. <laughs> What'd you get? Pecans. Pecans yeah. is how it's pronounced. They're icky. Chris is playing his game that we've been playing forever. It is seriously such a good game, though, guys. Skyrim, really good game. Highly, highly recommend it because it's actually interesting to watch. Or maybe it's just me. I think I'm the only person in the world that actually enjoys watching games. Now we have to clean the basement. Let's look how pretty I am. Look how pretty I am. I'm going to play Skyrim and you guys are going to be motivated by my killing of the dragon. So what makes sense to me is that we use this, are not currently being used this Christmas, and then it goes, oh, are you doing it before and after? <laughs> how shady. <laughs> Your Aww. stuff is now all over Aww. YouTube. <laughs> Christopher, that's not working. Rachel, I need to film you in the morning when you first wake up. <laughs> Christopher, how much do we have to do? How much are you going to do, Christopher? Once it's all uh, taken care of, I will vacuum. You're not going to vacuum, though. He says he's going to vacuum. He's not going to vacuum. Vacuuming is my job. Yeah, but you don't vacuum. You give it to me. Chris has this theory that because he brought me here, it's all... Thanks to him. So if I do any cleaning, it's because of Christopher. Tell me, is that fair? I don't think it's fair. The camera doesn't talk. <coughs> yeah, but the people watching the video talk. They're gonna say you're a bad man. Bad man. Bad man. Bad man. Love bad. Love bad. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even mean to. That's the best part ever. Bubbles. Yay! To wear your put on your glasses. All right, but that's all I'm doing. You have You're your so hipster. Of that I could do. Look how hipster he is. I'm still prepping bubbles. You're I'm you're, cleaning, you're cleaning. Ironically. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what? <laughs> I told him he's hipster, so he said he's cleaning the basement. Ironically. <laughs> you. You. There's so much stuff. I feel like I'm really contributing by just filming it all, right? That's getting stuff done. Everyone calls me lazy. <laughs> I'm not lazy, I'm documenting. And he spells with K-E-W-L. He's cool. Oh, I thought you were spelling his name with a K. My name is K-E-W-L. Okay, now I'm gonna start cleaning and just stop just filming it. Oh, yeah. I need to take oh, oh, oh. Don't break it. No! Don't break it. We spent like all day cleaning all of this stuff and it's pretty much all done. We got everything out. We even got like Frankincense and myrrh and gold. Goo <laughs> dolls. Yeah. You've been cleaning all day. You worked everything. I did not. Stop wearing an ironic glasses. I feel really dressed up for a vlog. I was just about to go film my November favorites and a bunch of other videos, and I realized I'm really, really hungry. So I'm gonna make some food and I'm going to show you what I'm gonna make because it's awesome and I've been craving it. Some whole grain bow ties. Oh my gosh, my voice. What is with my voice, guys? Why do I still have the lingering effects of a cold? It's been like a month. I'm really over this. We're over this. Let's move on. Can I just say that bow tie pasta is the best pasta ever of life? Like, it's so good. It just makes pasta better. It's like the Flintstone macaroni and cheese. Is anyone else with me on that one? So good, right? We have feta cheese, broccoli, 
We have chicken that's been cooked already, and Chris is going to make this pasta because it's so good. He made it the other day, and I kept eating his. I have no patience for boiling water. So I'm just going to dump in some pasta. Boys always eat a lot, so I never know how much pasta to put in. That's one thing I'm not good at. I'm not really good at estimating how much pasta should go into the thing. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> The thing, the thing. I'm just gonna set like a timer. I feel like this should be like a Rach Fit video, but like it's, I don't have any of my stuff out and like fancy filming, you know, my fancy filming. Like my videos are so fancy. I was gonna attempt to film and chop at the same time, but I felt I'd probably lose some fingers, which would actually make an excellent video, but not so good for me. While the pasta's cooking, let's look at all the cute decorations that are in this house. Um, first of all, the little, I love this idea, having like a vase filled with ornaments because I think it's so festive and so Christmassy and so pretty. And then we have the Merry Christmas thing that shows the date. I don't even know if that's the right date. Is that the right? Yes, it is. Homemade caramel rolls and then like oatmeal custardy chocolate squares. This is what happens at Christmas. We play cribbage and we eat sweets. And then once done, we put in the roasted garlic and pepper. This is botanica. It's really, really good. The feta. And, um, oh yeah, and olive oil. We just used regular extra virgin olive oil. Ooh, and sea salt. Fancy. Fleur de sel. Fleur de sel. So good. We're on the road. And the traffic on the other side looks really awesome right now. I feel like I'm speeding, but I'm not. I'm not even driving, Chris is driving. It is December the 6th, and uh, Chris and I are heading to an interview at a law firm for Chris, so we're super excited, fingers crossed. I'm also gonna go visit my dad at his work. I feel kind of like I'm in high school again, when you did like visit your parents' work. What was that called? Take your kids to work. Take your kids to work day. I feel like I should be set up in his office with like a puzzle or something. But, um... In high school? Is that high school? <laughs> Come on. Puzzles in high school? That's cool, right? <laughs> I actually did that one year. I went to my dad's office and I sat there and read all of the books about his work um, while he went to meetings. <laughs> it was very enlightening. On taking me to work day, I went with my mom. She was a half-time kindergarten teacher, so I got the afternoons off. Nice. That's even better. It's gonna be fun. Then we're gonna go and visit my Opa. Really excited about that. If you guys um, saw my November favorites, I was talking about my Oma, and I'm wearing, I've been wearing um, the earrings that they bought me when I was like 10 uh, a lot lately. And do you know that? I got these. My Oma. Germany. He's been really missing my Oma lately, and so he's really excited that Chris and I are coming to see him and come visit. And we're gonna go and take him out for dinner. Hopefully he'll be chatty because he's he's like the original YouTuber except not YouTube He just films a lot like whenever we have any sort of family get-togethers and stuff He'd be the the guy to be standing around the table taking photos of everyone and then he'd be emailing them Yes, my Opa emails at the age of what? How old is he? Like 80? 82? Something like that like yeah, he's like a pro star in email. He even gets MSN <laughs> like that's pretty cool. I just need to say what an awesome fiance I am because this entire car ride, this is what we're listening to. Yeah, that's sports radio. That's talk radio. Sports. It's putting me to sleep. Space for activities. You can dance. So you help yourself a little bit. Hi, Opa. You have to say hello to all my subscribers. Oh, hey. oh you'll make a movie? Yeah, I'm making a movie. <laughs> it's dancing. <laughs> and the German desserts. Oh, yes. Chris has found the recliners. These things are awesome. Yeah. Look at them. Look at them. You These know, girls. I have, I have uh, friends who don't go in there anymore. Why? Because when you are older, it's not so easy to get up. Hamburg. For, for instance, we had a lot of people from Hamburg, guys. Mm -hmm. You can't go. It was completely bombed down. Yeah. No one knows where the parents are and what happened and so on, you know. So they had to keep them. 
And I was lucky, I, I, uh, I mentioned my uncle, and it was a surprise, you know, stinky and everything, because we couldn't wash nothing at that time. That's what I told um, my uncle anyway. I said, um, you know, butcher is not what I really like and enjoy. I would like to be a cook. And so he was looking for me again. So I have to give him really yeah. credit what he done for me. Yeah. At that time, I didn't realize it. Yeah. You know, yeah. I was, you know, it's, it's funny. But when I think today, I should have really, really thanked him for. I didn't know for two years where my parents are. Wow. Because they were in East Germany, yeah. that was uh, done already, the border and everything. Mm -hmm. But um, no one knew where. Yeah. I was one of the uh, kids in, the ta in town who was very well um, fed, you know. Yeah. <laughs> they were hungry and they asked me, can you bring me a little bit? <laughs> so once in a while I smuggled some out, but you know, it was dangerous. Yeah. And, um, Gave it to them. Oma and me, we, we had a job offered there, and uh, when we were there, we took a well in Halifax, we landed. And uh, from Halifax to Toronto, it took us two days. So we right away in the uh, Toronto Golf Club. I don't know if you yeah. know the yeah. Toronto Golf Club. Yeah. That was the uh, first job I had. It was only a summer job, you know, in, in the winter yeah. they were yeah. closed. And, uh, but Erika, Oma, they, they liked her so much, they kept her till December. Oma, she was always, wherever she was, everyone liked her. Yeah. And they had a big party also, uh, a baby shower. Oh, nice. That's nice. They made for her. Notice that when I was a butcher in that town I was working, how... Um, how some kids really, how hungry they were. Yeah. I never really learned to be hungry, except a short time when I was in, in the camp, in the mm -hmm. prison camp. But otherwise, mm -mm. I always had good sweets. 